So here I am in the uh, Panzer II Luke, or the lunchbox as I effectively call it. Not really sure why I call it that. I don't know, I just kind of picked up that hobby and name for it, so it is what it is. But yeah, I'm a little outclassed here. Just a wee bit. Definitely an active scout, though. So I will uh, go scout and die with pride, I guess. I haven't upgraded the thing yet, and it's pretty apparent, because it is really slow for a scout. I mean, only going like 20 to 30? Not good. And the gun on this thing's atrocious for starts. I mean, it isn't bad if I get put into tier 3 games, but seeing as I'm against uh, tier 5s all the way down to tier 3s, yeah, no, it's uh, gonna end one of two ways for me. Man, this thing is slow. Maybe it's just uh, the place I'm driving on? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe when it gets upgraded I'll like it, but it does not seem like it's gonna be that fun. This tank just doesn't appeal to me at the moment, and I don't know why, or how to make it more interesting and fun. Like I said, I'm going to assume that it's just because it's not upgraded yet. Because that one, he looks like he might be a little faster than me. Maybe he's upgraded, though. Not too, uh, no easy way to tell. This thing's freaking... Ugh, oh, feels like I'm driving a KV. But tiny. Ooh, I could take that out. If I can ever get to him, that is. Gonna take me a while. Maybe a long while. Uh-oh. There we go. Ready? Awesome gun. Pew, pew, pew. Vehicle destroyed. Oh. Yeah, there's another tank there. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. That, that tank needs some upgrades. I'm sorry. It's, uh, kind of dull on its own. So several games later, and by several I mean, oh, easily 20. <laughs> I'm in a game where I'm finally some of the top tier. It's just been a lot of uh, me being in the tier three and four scout and just to sticking me against tier eight tanks and I just try and scout and die immediately. It's uh didn't go too well. Wasn't having much fun. But I'm finally able to record this one hopefully. And uh hopefully should be a good game. One of the top tiers here, along with the other easy eight on my team. As I was uh mentioning to one of my commenters I'm definitely going to be recording an episode with uh, my views on all the tanks I've had so far in my garage. Going through each and every one, taking some notes, trying to put out what what I found effective about them, what I didn't like. And of course, if you guys have any feedback on which ones I mentioned as well, more power. Because, I mean, I might have found something that I liked that you guys didn't like, or you might have found something that I absolutely hated but you loved. And that's, uh... I just like to know everyone's experience with the different tanks. I mean, I I have found that probably my most effective tank has been my. Hold on here. Like Start shooting something. Here we go. The most effective tank has probably been my PZ4. And then from the PZ4, maybe the EZ8 after that. I don't know. Wait, I well. PZ-4 is the first tank I actually 100%ed the entire crew. I don't know how I managed to. Probably the fact that I've been doing several, uh... There's several tanks I'm working on for it. Because obviously there's three different upgrades from it. Oh. Boo. Come on. I'm trying to talk and shoot at the same time. It's not easy. It's not even aim at me. There we go. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, yeah, so the next, uh, soon I'll have to come up with a nice little compilation of all the different tanks, seeing what I liked, what I didn't like, going from there. Oh, stop lagging, there we go. Got them all running and lagging. I don't know why my frames just dropped pretty bad right there. 
but oh well. So yeah, where was I? Tanks, going to talk about them all, going to uh, try and demo everything. See what everyone thinks, etc, etc. Oh yeah, so, here's an interesting strategy that uh, I found very useful. I've run up with every tank you're going to come against plenty of times where you are facing tanks that you can not actually uh, do damage to or have any effect with. So, what do you do when you're going up against a tank that you cannot hurt? Sometimes people just run away, sometimes people, well, I mean if you're cornered, but I mean, if you have the opportunity, yes, run away. But some people uh, sit there and just have nothing to do and just either ram it and die or just play against it all day long and do nothing. What you should do if you're going against a tank you absolutely cannot do any damage to, you can't get away from, and you're just stuck with, I would recommend that you switch to HE and actually aim for the gun. Believe it or not, you either will do damage or you have a very good chance of destroying their gun. And that's going to help out any of your teammates that are around you in terms of trying to help take that tank on. Because when that thing doesn't have a gun, it's not going to hurt them. So, that's one thing I always try and do. If I can't damage the tank, switch to HE and shoot the gun to the best of my ability and try and break their gun. Oh, let's see what else we can do here. That was a great game. Time to roll out. So this has been a rather long episode. Hopefully, uh... This final battle here would be nice and climactic. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I might have to either split this one up into two sections or uh, just delete a few of the things that I recorded. Kind of went on long there. I had two really long battles. One did really well in, the other one, eh, not so well. So I might end up removing that one. I think I probably will. Kind of covered a few things. Uh, and later parts here so not a big deal so anyway I definitely want to thank everyone who uh, congratulated me on winning the World of Tanks video contest thingy I uh, I know my entry wasn't exactly a specific how-to tutorial but more or less my entire series is a how-to tutorial I really try and cover as much as possible throughout the entire thing so if I learn something new from a subscriber telling me, hey, if you do this, it helps you out, then I'm going to hopefully be able to tell it to the rest of everyone, so that, you know, everyone learns something that way. So yeah, while my video wasn't specifically a tutorial, it did give you a lot of different hints, tips, and tricks. I think the series overall is what I'm trying to go for more than just a singular episode. But definitely, uh, definitely thank you to everyone who did get congratulate me, and anyone who sends me, uh, tips and tricks, certainly I... I can use them. I'm by no means an expert. So if you want to send me something telling me how to do uh, something better, by all means, I will probably use it and uh, hopefully become better with it. So, I am going to take the top of this hill with my T3485 here with the 85mm in it. Oh, come on. The 85mm uh, is not bad. Definite improvement from the 76 millimeter that was in this thing, but it's definitely no 100 millimeter. Definitely thinking I'm gonna get the 100 millimeter, uh, as they seemingly call it, idiot gun. It's was it the uh, D10T gun? I believe it actually is. It's hilarious. So definitely uh, gonna look forward to using that thing. Hopefully it's uh, halfway decent. I can imagine being 100 millimeters is actually really strong. So, man, I don't really have a good view. I need to get down there. We uh, look like we lost our support. I got completely overrun there. That is not good. But yet, it looks like we taken our way through the train yard. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna go back down there and try and support the team. Try and hold off the cap while our team takes the cap. Hopefully. So a failed venture up the hill. Return down this way. T29. Come on, zoom in. He's not looking at me. I've noticed that all the heavy American tanks, their weak spots are actually their 
hull. Don't aim for their turret, because the turret's ridiculously powerful. It's, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he didn't even hurt me. Oh, come on. Silly. So I guess I go swarm him. Thought I would have hit him that one, but I guess I hit the tank next to him, maybe? We'll find out when I pop around this corner, though. Yeah, okay, well... Cool. Actually, that gun on that thing is not too scary at all. I didn't lose much in the way of hit points. Maybe it was just sheer luck that I didn't. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we got a tiger up here. Uh oh. Come on now. Gotcha. Got him. My crew's taking their time loading rounds and zooming in, but I guess it's part of the whole fact that this thing's 75%, maybe 76% trained right now, so it's not the best, but it works. Oh, no, don't hit me. So all that's left is a T-29. Apparently we cleaned up pretty good up here. I was sitting here worried thinking they were gonna end up capping us while we were trying to cap them, forcing a draw. So not bad. I'm gonna try and flank him. Because they keep pushing him back this way. Just in case he ends up destroying stuff. But it looks like I'm not going to have to worry about it. So, not too bad in the 85mm cannon on this thing. I certainly like it. Hopefully I'll get to that 100mm sooner or later. But in the meantime, I definitely want to thank you all for tuning in this episode. Again, thank you all for the congratulations. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next episode.